so welcome back to my channel um, in today's video I'm gonna give an update on my bariatric surgery journey so far today is Saturday so it's day four or four days after um, I had the surgery so I had the surgery on Tuesday so it's Saturday today it's um early in the morning I woke up and I'm just here and I said let me do the video to give a quick, uh, quick update um, I wasn't sure if I was gonna do a bariatric surgery uh, YouTube video um, well, I, I said I would, but, um, you know, after thinking about it, I said I wouldn't based on the fact that um, what people would say, but no, no, I have, I, have, I don't really care. Um, and there's not a lot of um, bariatric videos um, here in Canada. So I had my surgery here in Canada, and yeah, so I saw maybe one or two other people who had bariatric surgery here in Canada on YouTube. There wasn't a lot of information, so I said I would do mine. So let's start. So um, I am going to do a sit-down video. Um, explaining the reason why I did it and so forth and then I think I'm gonna add this video to that video so let's see um, so today as I said today is day four um, I am feeling great I have no problems I have uh, the day of the surgery after the surgery I had gas and all I did was walk and you know walk within the room in the hospital and got rid of the gas I came home the next day I had gas but then after that after I walked some more and I woke up I like after I walk and after that I haven't had any gas since the day after I came home, I haven't had any gas. Um, I one of the things I do is like every morning I wake up, I drink some warm water. Like the first thing I do is drink some warm water. Okay, you know, uh, uh, they always say warm water or tea is good for gas. That's Jamaican thing. I'm Jamaican, so that's one of the things that they always say. Tea is good for gas. So what I do every morning when I wake up, I drink a cup. Not a cup. Okay, you know I can't drink a cup of <laughs> maybe about four ounces of warm water. That's the first thing I drink in the morning when I wake up. So I'm thinking that that maybe that is what. Also helping with me not having gas, and if I feel like I'm having gas, I do drink some warm water. So maybe that's what's helping. But I'm surprised. Surprisingly, I'm not in any pain. I'm not having any difficulties. Everything's going well. Um, I did um, order some medication. Um, I got a prescription from the doctor. I, you know the vitamins that I need to take and so forth. I'm doing a blood thinner because I, I inject myself. I give myself an injection every day. I have to give myself an injection for the next um, for eight days. So I have four more days left to do that. Um, so that's to thin out the blood, I guess, not to cause blood clots, which is understandable. I have all, cause I have all vitamins that I need to take. I, I didn't. Doctor said I don't have to have any, or any pre, or any special bariatric um vitamins. I can just use the regular vitamins. I usually take vitamins. The majority of the vitamins that I get um recommended by the doctor after bariatric surgery is most of the ones that I've been taking anyways, like probiotics, calcium, vitamin D, um, the vitamin C. I was taking prenatal with iron because I'm I'm anemic. And I usually take another iron pill. Um, the only one that I see added is vitamin A and vitamin K too. And he also added some, um, I guess, laxative, um, some powder laxative. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a video with um, all the vitamins that I'm taking that I'm always recommended to take, and the units and the milligrams. And he just the doctor said I should just match the milligrams and the units, the units per day to make sure that I'm getting enough. So if I'm, if the unit is saying one hundred pill is, um. 150 and you're supposed to take 300 uh, milligrams per day then you take three, two pills so he said not i don't need to spend any big money on no expensive bariatric vitamins the regular vitamins over the counter just make sure i get a good quality one and make sure i'm taking the recommended dosage per day so that's what i'm doing right now i have some troubles i have some um capsule soft gels because some of the ones I have to take soft gels and so forth so yeah and as far as what i'm eating i'm drinking a lot of um fluids of course because this is day four um i'm doing a lot of fluid clear fluids I, I I said I'm gonna start adding protein today. I'm not sure yet. Um, I'm not sure yet because when I first came home, um, the day after I came home, I had some Gatorade right in the fridge, and since I came home, I was just drinking basically water. I said I would drink some of the Gatorade, and I threw that up. Um, so so far, I've been drinking. I drank some coffee, some um, decaffeinated coffee, with some sugar-free um, sweetener. And I made a, a a cup of, I think a cup was about 12 ounces, regular coffee cup that I usually drink out of, about 12 ounces of, um, and I think I ended up drinking like 4 ounces of that. Uh, this morning I drank some tea, some decaffeinated tea, because that's what they gave me at the, at, the, at the hospital. So I drank some decaffeinated tea with some um, sugar-free, not sugar-free, I drank some Splenda because I bought some Splenda, and I added that to the tea and I added, added some... Um, a little tip, a bit of evaporated milk to the tea to give it some color and that I drank that I was okay to drink that sorry I'm looking over there sorry I'm not looking at the camera but I, I, I made my cup of tea as usual I was 12 hours cup of tea I don't know why because uh, in my mind you're still drinking the same but anyways I, drank, I made that cup of tea my 12 hours cup 
and um is it 12 ounce or is it 8 ounce i'm gonna come back to you with a size but anyways i drank half of it with the tea um so yeah so i'm drinking between 8 to 12 8 to eight, 6 to 8 ounce or 4 to 6 ounce of um warm tea or warm coffee in the morning and then i drink a lot of water so i'm trying to get to 64 ounce of water per day right now i think i'm at about 46 or 40 something ounce 47 or so, as they're about ounce of water per day um i'm a water drinker i always drink a lot of water i like to see when i'm peeing my pee is clear so that's my goal right now so when i'm peeing my pee is clear so i don't want to go in the bathroom and see i'm peeing and it's yellow or dark yellow you know i want to see it clear to light light yellow to clear yeah so that's my goal so that i don't get dehydrated so basically that's all i've been doing water and broth i drink broth but i don't drink regular broth i drink um i'm Jamaican, so they have this cock soup um this mix soup mixture that they usually when we're making soup we usually put in the soup to give it um to season it and give it some good taste so what i do i take that packet and i throw it in some water and i um jet it up with some mint and some some, some thyme that mint thyme and um, a little bit more seasoning to give it some more taste and um, i did that and then i it has noodles and seasoning so what i do is i boil it and then i strain it so i, I managed to drink um i think about four ounces of that per day like since i came home so since thursday since thursday yeah i've been in this since thursday so thursday i drank about two ounces and then um yesterday i drank four ounces so yeah so um so far today i drank the tea um i have a 24 ounce of water water bottle here i think i've drank half of that water already i haven't ate had anything else to eat or anything like that um um well i'm gonna be trying um i have them here i'm gonna be trying this i'm not a yogurt I, not a yogurt i'm not a jello fan but it's the it's the jello it says no sugar added so i'm gonna be trying this um later on sorry i'm in i'm lying down in my bed as i said it's early morning and yeah so later on today i'm gonna try that i just i just dropped my tea the, the tea that i drank and yeah, i'm trying to get water down because i woke up early i woke up from five o'clock this morning and um so yeah i'm sleeping well um my incisions one of the the you know i have five and one of the i'm gonna insert a picture um in this video don't know if it's right here or after but i have five incisions and one of the one of the the band the sticky thing that they put over it fell off already one looked like it's about to fall off they're not hurting or anything i'm just careful um i wore a bra yesterday the bra one of the bra, one of the stitches falls under the bra so i have to be careful and i'm trying to put some like healing cream on it i have some polish pouring that i rub on the one that um i rub i rub them on all five of them but the one that fell off the tape fell off i rub it on it and then i just rub it on top of the one that has the tape already also so yeah so, so far so good i am not in any as i said i'm not in any pain i am sleeping well i am do i notice anything else mm -hmm. what do you normally when my, when my normal stomach you know you feel your stomach expanding right sorry again i'm looking all over the place yeah you feel your stomach expanding so you know you're full right but with this new stomach now it's still healing you don't know, feel it you don't know, understand it yet so you don't know what's what right so anyway so um yesterday again i tested it and it was the same thing i'm there eating like as i said a couple more sips and i get a uh, small burp like it's giving me a little warm hello i'm full and then i continued i said yeah i hear the burp so i'm gonna continue so i said okay two more spoon one more spoon in and I burp, burp. i'm like okay so i'm gonna do it again so when i went to two more ah, this will be, so i said can you imagine if i go back again i do one more two more spoon, what would i do throw up i'm not gonna chance it because i don't like throw, throwing up i don't like the feeling when i threw up with the um with the gator in it was not a nice feeling like my mouth filled with water and, it, and i just threw up everything but anyway so that's what i'm noticing when i'm full and this morning again it's the same thing when i was full i burped and then i knew it was time to stop yeah one of the things i can't wait for it to feel actually feel for myself when i'm full right I mean, I should do. then i thought about them like, do i really want to feel for myself because then if i feel for myself that means that i'll be going on and on if i if it, there's a signal that tells me like, yeah you're full right now so stop and i need to stop and if i continue it gives me more warning and if i continue i end up burping then i know that you know it's my fault but anyways this doesn't the year there but yeah that's what i noticed when i'm full it i burp and if i continue my burping gets louder yes or more aggish according to jamaica but yeah so that's that really and truly nothing really i haven't weighed myself i haven't done anything yet and what i said i'm gonna do like a week maybe next tuesday i'm gonna weigh myself for the first time after surgery and then i'm gonna take some measurements i took some measurements before yeah before surgery so um we'll see what's what uh, or maybe i should wait a month i'm not sure maybe but i should do it no definitely so next week, tuesday i'm gonna be weighing myself yeah right now i'm in the diet stage two which is full fluids um 
and I, this this is for two weeks so i guess from diet stage diet stage one is one to two days so when i came home i started full fluid i guess so from wednesday until for two weeks so next week and the week after i can do diet stage two and then um diet stage three which is puree food and so forth so as i said i'm gonna start eating this um it says i ordered it so i'm gonna i bought it it's a cart so i'm gonna try it if i don't like it then i don't eat it um and then i have i said i'm gonna make some coffee um profit profi, which is coffee and protein shake as you know so i'm gonna make that uh, one of the protein that i have you know the premier protein it says 30 grams per um 30 grams per for of protein is in that one um package and you're supposed to be aiming to for 70 grams of protein per day so i'm gonna start with that i'm gonna start with that one and try to finish that for the rest of the day um i don't know if i'm gonna finish it for the rest of the day so i'll see i know i can only drink a certain amount in one setting sitting so not one sitting but in one for about half an hour half an hour to 45 minutes it takes me to drink four to six ounces of any fluid that i'm where, where, where it be brought or tea it takes me half an hour to 45 minutes to finish that so yeah so i'm gonna just continue in yeah so i'm home i'm feeling great about i'm not bedridden or anything like that i get up and i do what i have to do stay it's the same thing but no pain in my belly it's just that i get exhausted quicker so i do take naps which is great i'm going back to work on monday good thing is that i work from home three days per week for the week and go to work two days for the week but next week i'm working out from home and maybe the following week too. i'm not sure i'll see but yeah but i'm doing great yeah today's goal as i said is to get at least i want to reach i think i'm going to try for the 64 ounce of water for today i have 24 over here right now that i'm trying to finish before it's what after 7 before 10 so i'm trying to finish that before 10 and then i'll get another 24 and so forth and so forth so i'm trying to reach for 64 today i already drank six ounces of tea and i have the jello right here that i'm going to try to eat later um around maybe i'll eat that around 11 ish yeah 11 and then after that during that from now until 11 ish i'll try to get i'll get the water in and then after i eat this again i'll try to get water in till about um till about that would be 11 12 1 2 till about 2 and then after 2 now i'll, I'll drink the coffee and the protein shake and hopefully that lasts me if that doesn't last for the rest of the evening about six or seven seven ish I, I have a little bit more broth left for my the packet of jamaican things so maybe i'll mix that with some uh, little more in this, um, broth and drink that drink some of that and then i'll have the rest for tomorrow so yeah so that's it i am as i said i'm doing great i have no issues my incisions are okay um the back the, the tape is falling off i've showered um i couldn't shower for 48 hours so my foot was two times per day but uh, when I told that to the doctor, the doctor said, okay, keep it for one day, one time per day for the first week. And after that, you, you can go shower two times per day. But um, right now, it's just one time per day I'm showering. I'm giving myself um, that uh, blood thinner injection, right? So I have four more days to go. I am, um, actually, no, I have Thursday, Friday. I got it Thursday, Friday. So I have five more days to go. Um, I have, I'm taking, I'm taking my vitamins. As I said, I'm going to do a video of the vitamins I'm taking. I'm not taking any special vitamins. Um, do a video, as I said, to, do, to show you guys the the um the different vitamins i'm taking i am going to and i'm going to also do another follow-up video maybe next week when, I, when it's one week i'll do another video with better setup like this is just me lying down in my bed as i said i woke up and i go make my tea and come back and i said i'll just do a video so yeah so i'll do a video one week post up i don't know if i'm gonna do weekly videos or if i'm gonna do monthly videos i'm not sure yet um me i don't know i don't know Maybe I'll do monthly videos. I don't I don't know. I don't even know if I'm gonna post this video, but we'll see. So yeah. So recap. I'm home, I'm fine, nothing hurts, nothing out of whack. I don't have any gas pains, I don't as I uh, I shower, I shower okay. I just make sure that the incisions are dry, really dry. I had polysporin to them so that it can heal properly and I don't have any difficulties. Um I lotion my skin and everything the same way. I right now I'm doing clear fluid, adding protein shake to my diet. I am um I am my main source of diet, my main source of meals are broth right now. I am drinking a lot of um, broth. I am drinking a lot of water. I'm trying to get at least 64 ounces in per day. I am drinking, um, I'm going to try Jello, as I said. I'm going to try Jello. And yeah, I drink coffee, decaffeinated coffee and um, decaffeinated tea. I do use um, Splenda and also sugar, sugar free sweetener, you know, those skinny, whatever it's called. I, I use that because that's the what I usually use in my regular coffee when i used to drink coffee i don't do sugar um i did tip a little bit of evaporated milk in my tea this morning because as i said that's what i usually use when i'm 
doing my regular coffee before I had surgery, so I do use evaporated milk, but no sugar, I use sugar-free sweetener. I, yeah, so that's that. Um, next week, next week I'm gonna do, I'm gonna continue with the liquid for this week, and the, and the broth and the protein. Next week, my goal is to get at least the amount of recommended protein in for the day, or at least close to it. Um, I also, my other goal is to get the 64 ounce of water in for the week, for the day, um, 64 ounce of water per day in for next week, it's starting Sunday, so since this week was the first week, you know, yes, you know, whatever, but next week for sure I'm going to start writing down my goals and getting them in, 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 you know, trying to reach them, trying to make sure I meet those goals, so my goal is to get the recommended protein in to make sure I take all my vitamins and to make sure I get the 64 ounce of water in per day, I'm going to add some more, um, I guess, what is it called, soft full fluid but I can add cottage cheese, non-fat, low-fat dairy products. I can add yogurt and cottage cheese. So I'm not a cottage cheese person so I'll try to find a yogurt that tastes good, low-fat. And yeah, so goal for next week, 64 ounces of water per day, recommended um, protein per day, my vitamins per day. When I do go out, I drive, I, I drop my daughter to school and pick her back up from school. So when I do go out, I go to the store, so it's not like I'm in the house. So I do get a walking in, so yeah, so that's that, that's that for this update. I'm on day four post surgery and I'm doing great. No complaint. No no um difficulties so far. I hope to God that nothing comes after. I'm just trying to keep myself hydrated. Um and eating the recovery following the stages of the diet that I'm supposed to follow. And not that I'm not craving stuff, of course, you're thinking about everything. I think next week I'm gonna put some sardine in my in my in my um since I can put cottage cheese and cottage cheese is kinda lumpy. I think I'm gonna put some sardine with some um mayonnaise. And eat that bite so to get some more added protein into my diet. I'm not sure. I'm gonna see. I have no dietitian to call and ask. So <laughs> and let me stop rambling. But yeah. So I'll see you guys next time. Um, thanks for watching. If there's anything that you want me to do, um, or if there's a question, leave it in the comments. Um, I can go through my. Well, I said I'm gonna do a video on the whole process of getting uh, before the surgery, and um, I'm gonna do a video on my vitamins that I'm taking. I'm gonna do a, maybe I do like a. Why well, I think something is my maybe it's my eyes eyes big. And maybe I do a video on what I eat in a day. I'm not sure. Maybe as the time progress, not right now because there's nothing really I I to show what I eat in a day is just regular. Maybe one day I'll just insert a picture, just take pictures of it and put it in a collage and show it, but nothing special that I can show. And um so I'll do a, a video with my vitamins that I'm taking and uh, my process before surgery and also um after surgery, during surgery, the day of surgery. And then I did do a video. And I did do a room tour of my of my hospital room. I didn't do a, what I pack. But I can tell you what I pack. Um, yeah, so that's it. So, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it wasn't as boring or too boring. But um, let me know if there's anything that you want me to do. Sorry about my appearance. Next time I'll do better. Next time, sorry about outside. I was going to pause the video, but whatever. Maybe the window is a little bit open. And the fire truck is passing. But anyway, so I'll end the video right here now. So, as, again, let me repeat myself again. If you have a question, leave it in the comment. You can send me a DM. Um, this is bariatric surgery in Canada, um, in the GTA area. If you have a question about it, any, um, anything, just ask me. If there's any negativity, I will respond to you also. Uh, I'm very nice, but I'm nice at to a point. I won't block you, but maybe I'll block you anyway, it depends on where you're right. But I, I will send you up underneath the matter, okay? But anyways, I will, so the comments, um, anything I'll answer if you have a comment. And if you have a question, just leave it in the comment section and I'll try to answer it as best as I can. If I can't, I'll tell you that I can't, okay? And yeah, so I'll go through, as I said before, whatever I went through before, and, and so forth. So, again, thanks for watching. Um, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm asking you to please subscribe. Please ask anybody you know that would be interested in my channel to subscribe. This is just a new thing I'm doing. I have, I have right now, I have 38 subscribers. I'm trying to get to 1,000. So, please send this over to, or any of my videos over to other people. So, that they say you can subscribe and watch my videos and like my videos and so forth. And try to grow my channel, you know. So please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next update. Maybe a week post-up. Yeah, maybe I'll do a week post-up to see how much weight I lost. Maybe, maybe it would be a long video, but it would be like a short mini video. So I'll see you. So thanks for watching again, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.